to GAW doing it with me, I'm Julianne, and today we're making a fruit cocktail pudding that's super quick to prepare. It's not complicated at all. All you need is a mug, teaspoon, serving spoon, and that's literally all. What you're going to need is two cups or mugs of self-raising flour, one mug of plain white sugar, one tin of fruit cocktail, or you could use any fruit you want, which you prefer, and two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda or baking soda, plus one teaspoon of salt, it's already mixed in there, and you're going to be needing two eggs. Let's get started. In a large bowl, you're just going to mix all your ingredients together. Basically, just chuck everything in there and then you're just going to stir it all. There's no specific order as long as you just get all of it in. As you can see, it's super quick. So I have broken both of my eggs into a separate container and not just straight into the mixture as if your egg is off and you put it into the mixture immediately your whole mixture is off so you have to throw everything away and that's a complete waste and really expensive so once you check that your eggs are good to go you can then pour them in and stir whilst you're doing this remember to preheat your oven to 180 degrees celsius or 265 degrees fahrenheit and you're just going to mix it all together. Super quick, super easy, and soon we'll be finished. So it takes a couple of seconds just to mix, and our mixture is all ready. You can see the fruit. We've now, I have taken a glass bowl and buttered it. We are now going to put our mixture into the bowl, and we're going to put it in the oven for 45 minutes, and then take it out, and we'll do the topping. Remember to smooth out your mixture even to the extent of a hollow in the middle as this rises like a cake and the middle always rises more. So we don't want that bump in the middle for our topping is just going to run off. Plus you don't have to use the whole mixture. If you have a little sister like me who loves to mix the bowl, you can leave a little extra for afterwards. Well, whilst you wait for it to cook. To retain moisture in your fruit cocktail, just cover it with tin foil, the shiny side down, and then into the oven. For the sauce, going to take a large saucepan and you're going to mix together in the saucepan the following ingredients. Two tablespoons of butter with one teaspoon of vanilla essence. One cup of white sugar, one cup of coconut, this is optional, and one tin of ideal or evaporated milk. Stir it together on a low heat. Be careful to go too fast that you splash over the pan. Once your mix, your sauce has become a nice caramel brown, almost like a cappuccino color, you can now switch off your um, stove and we're going to pour it over our cake, our fruit tart. And if it runs the risk of overflowing, you're just going to let it sit for a little bit and then we're going to add more of it later on. So you're going to pour it over your dish. Once you cover your pudding with your sauce, you can either let it cool for a cold pudding or you can serve it immediately. Don't worry about the sauce still being wet. Once you cut it, it will just soak into your pudding, making a super quick, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, delicious fruit tart. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
and let's rate the beat and try it yourself.